Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Supercar Diaries. I wanted us to start over here so you guys can see that we're not just all about building supercars, but also we're about having fun, which you can do with the cars, as well as this. This is our Novitech office, the front office. And as you can see, there's plenty of things to do. Have fun, some Red Bull. But I also came in here because I wanted to show you something on the way to our car of the day and that's this, our collection of merchandise, which is growing slowly and steadily next year, 2022, some exciting stuff coming along. But just look at the gorgeous cameras that we've got. Absolutely lovely. Where's this one that we had the other day? Super, super cool. There's a link down in the description to the merchandise. Here we got tons of shirts over there. I'm actually wearing one, but you can't see that now. And then over here, something that I just really want to say thank you very much to all of you because without you this would not have been possible 100,000 subscribers we're now at 150,000 so thank you so much for that as well and you gotta look this way are these sold out already are they sold out okay so I just won't show you that we have these really cool carbon fiber travel shishas because they sold out. So next time, be quicker to get one. Oof! There's something sexy. This we're gonna film tomorrow. This time, not matte, but glossy golden rims. A little, anyways, we're gonna do this tomorrow. Today there's something really crazy. Always the other way. And for that, we have to walk all the way. Welcome, by the way, to freaking winter ladies and gentlemen feast your eyes and the long-awaited fantastic gorgeous beautiful incredible the Lamborghini SDO Lamborghini made the STO, Super Trofeo Homologato, which is basically the homologation version of the ST Evo, which is the race car. They pretty much slapped indicators onto it, and behold, there it is. It was not just about creating performance, it was also about shedding weight. This car basically has a chassis of aluminium and carbon fiber, but 75% of the parts of this car married into carbon fiber some of the other way including the uh fun ga fun for kango fun go fungo go fungo including the co fungo and you're asking what the hell is that well it's the amalgamation of two italian words which i'm not going to try and pronounce you can see how good i am at that basically means fenders and bonnet married into one piece com fiber you can see integrated into this so basically this moves forward we'll put in a picture of that they also said that that sort of is a little bit reminiscent of the Lamborghini Mura. They were serious about shedding weight. This car is 43 kilograms lighter than you get in the Performante, roughly. This window over here, 30% lighter. There's a lot of marketing talk in there. It might be true. We're not going to weigh it today because this car is so different from what you get on the other cars purely by all the aero bits and pieces they've, they've, they've built into it. And it looks so sexy the front here is very aggressive but it's also very functional predominant amount of air that hits the car over here goes through a radiator and out these two vents over here and then over the roof and we'll talk about what happens to it then because that's another thing the splitter over here which is not in carbon fiber in this model but will be in our Novitech version that as it says splits the air so that some of it goes underneath the car which has got a completely flat bottom except for the cavities for the designated brakes cooling system exits at the back from the diffuser really causes the car it improves the ground performance you can just interpret what they mean about that. Then you have these side vents that seems to be just slightly uh, sort of sliced through with these little side bits over here. Now that air, ah, that gets chased into the wheel compartment, takes all the hot air from the braking and the friction of the tire, and then sucks it out through the louvers here at the top of the fenders. Well, doesn't have because it has a fungo. We were talking about the air that comes over the bonnet, over the roof, 
and it hits partially this. This is a functional roof scoop and that serves the purpose of cooling the engine but also the air that goes in there through this sort of engine cover also distributes the air that goes from the inside towards the outside as well as the air flowing over here to this back wing which in my opinion is <laughs> stealth bomber like don't you just think and i love the fact that if you think about the sto <laughs> Lamborghini, you guys have been so brave to bring this car out in a time and date such as our current times because it's just, you know, it's not really what people want. They want electric cars and green things and whatnot. What? Yeah, whatever. So thank you so much for doing this. It's just Greta won't be happy about it. She's not ordering one of these. I'm going to get fired for saying that. Anyway, so we've got this wing over here and why I'm liking this because you can manually adjust this in three positions. And funny enough, it's not just going to change the downfalls at the back, but it's going to change how the nose of the car behaves. Interesting just how they've worked all of that out. It looks mean. It looks crazy. This car is just the chisel of my nizzle. Now you can imagine we're going to do some of the things to the some of the non we touch on this car there is already carbon fiber over here carbon fiber over there but other than that this car is sort of in a pretty basic state you can see the front lip not being carbon fiber bits and pieces of it in sort of a hardish plastic you can bet your whistles that we're going to put some carbon fiber mirror caps on there as we set the side skirt and a couple of other little pieces but also this car is going to get fitted with our nl rims which is going to look super super sick on this car and let me know if you think this is not just a wee bit too high obviously it is too high at the back Maurice and I both said that we feel that it looks really good at the back this is a good standard height for a supercar and other than that it's just gorgeous naturally aspirated V10 engine just hurling and burring right behind my spine over here is an absolute gem 640 horsepower is what you're gonna get at 8,000 rpms 8,000 rpms are you kidding me how about the steering look at that this car is telepathic it's just ridiculous they took the steering rack that it used to have said thank you very much chucked it out the window put in a new one and said all it does is give you direct steering now exactly for track racing and for not fading that they have their own dedicated cooling system for every single brake disc oh no 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 slippy 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 yeah slippy slippy i must admit there's one thing that i absolutely love about this car on the outside and that is the roof scoop with that phenomenal engine cover and carbon fiber, all the roofs in there, all the louvers. But when I look through it here, well, I can't. I'm blinded. I can see left and right. Achtung glatteis. Do you know what that means? It says, caution, road is frozen. Why in the world am I driving a Lamborghini STO on a road that is semi-frozen? It always happens that at that time of the year where everything is frozen and cold including me we get handed a car like this so lamborghini dealer has let out three sto's two of those have been written off the third one hasn't and we want to keep it that way these cars are apparently extremely feisty i mean it's a race car pretty much for the road and that's why we need to just take so much care that it stays in one piece we have ordered our own one well we already have our own one but it's in production we're busy fitting the novitech kit onto it and when we get that car i was told 
that we can do everything that we're not doing today. So please forgive. That is just a very relaxed drive. Oh, 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 she sounds so naughty. But all in the name of safety. driving modes because normally you'd have in cars in the Lamborghinis you get your core sun you know all that stuff this car doesn't this car has STO Trofeo and Pioggia right oh, my concentration phase so it's got these driving modes right which is supposed to assist you in the wet in the dry and in Owning the skills of a race driver in a homologation version of a race car while you're driving on a non-race track in STO version. So ultimately, it's like playing Russian roulette and they're saying you got not just one but three bullets. Thank you. There is a slight complaint at this point in time. We're used to the Lamborghinis being superfluous when it comes to sound and all that stuff, just being out the window in your face. I was expecting this to be the same. I was expecting this to be more. Maurice, you do not fit into this car. Don't even come and tell me that you fit in here. What do you think about that? I, I mean, it's still loud. We're talking about a Lamborghini, but it's not, in my opinion, it should be more raucous. You can't make a car that looks like the Batmobile and sounds like the Joker on the toilet. Oh man. There's only been one occasion when Novitech took such an extensive effort to tell me beyond, please, Please, please be careful. And that was the first time we had done our job on the McLaren 765LT. I'm just gonna go, there's hardly, there's no traffic on here. So we're in first gear, I'm not gonna plant it, no. Yeah. Anyways, come back to that story. It's the first time, 765LT, 950 uh, which is a lot on the rear tires. It was the 18th of December, it was cold and wet and they literally took it out for a very quick drive just to see that everything's, you know, working. And then they said, well there we go, go and do the movie and don't kill yourself and don't damage the car. That was scary as ever. This is like that. just about looking flexing it's also about the fact that they really did make this from a race car so in here you've got your own telemetry system that'll tell you all kinds of infos about your racing experience around the track and where you're good and where you're not and the great thing about that is that you can actually pop all of that stuff onto your iPhone. So when you're going for a pee break and having a cup of coffee, you can actually sit and watch on your phone, not just all the facts about how good you were when you accelerated, but you also actually see a video that the car makes of you driving with all that information incorporated. How sick is that? It's like a crazy racetrack team in your pocket. <laughs> now, they did want to also minimalize the interior of this car to give it more sporty feel. Yes, it's wonderful. I love it. It's great. Um, Alcantara, but windows down, system up. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, the steering is insane. And the brake pedal feel, it's something different to say. Woo! Pretty. Familiar territory, if you know 
the Urukan. I love that you can peel in here that it's actually just open if you want to warm your hands like now in winter but it's lovely to see this in here and I think that it's going to get an upgraded exhaust system from us which is going to make it louder it's just because we sort of have this heritage of making Lamborghinis just a wee bit louder yeah I'm also excited about what that is going to look like here it's going to get um, carbon fiber caps over here right now this is a client's car and we're just going to do a couple of minor changes to this. Ours is in production and by the time that's done, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we're going to drive it like we own it and like we stole it. Anyways, before we go any further, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, feel free to like the videos and comment down below. Let us know what you think about the bravery of Lamborghini making the STO. Yes, you can also follow us on Instagram, Lobby Tech Group, me personally at Beyond the Cock. We love seeing you on there. Click it, click. Now, no episode is going to be complete without us measuring just how loud this STO is in standard form. Again, I reiterate, in idle, the flaps are open. Once you chase up the revs, normally when you drive the car, the flaps close immediately and the car becomes somewhat a little bit too quiet in my opinion. <laughs> Maurice is already smiling <laughs> and it, it, said, it said over. Oh, did you already put in the exhaust system? This is standard. Why did you just forget everything I said with clothes? Did you know that was going to happen? You knew that was going to happen. Okay, obviously it's just bloody loud. Sorry Lamborghini, this numbnut can't contain himself all after. I'm leaving. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure in this rather relaxed version of an XTO excursion. STO, XTO, STO excursion. But thank you so much for coming with on this little drive. I wish you guys a fantastic week. Stay safe. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. You can like this video. Comment down below what you'd like to see us do with our STO. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram, me personally at Beyondercom or Nobby Tech on the Until then, God bless, have a good one, see you in the next video, ciao!